Hi, Ecclesia. It's with a heavy heart I come to talk to you. Because of what's going on in the United States of America and the world in general with COVID-19. It's spreading rapidly and the United States government has asked us to not gather in groups larger than 10 people. We don't believe this is a conspiracy. We don't believe it's just something that the government is trying to overreach and get control and get us to do something we don't want to do and get us to not assemble. We don't believe that's what's actually happening. But because this virus is spreading so easily and so rapidly, they're asking people to self-quarantine and to keep distance from one another and asking groups to not gather in numbers larger than 10. So with that in mind, we, the elders of Ecclesia Muskogee, have decided that for our worship gathering, at least on March 22nd, what we're going to do is live stream it and send out a link to you so that you will be able to join in that live stream either from your phone or your computer or your TV. Anywhere you can access YouTube and watch YouTube, you'll be able to join in on the live feed. Only the elders or the elders in training will be actually getting together in person at the Ecclesia Muskogee building on March 22nd. So if you're not an elder or you're not an elder in training, we're going to send the link out for you to be able to receive preaching and sing with the saints and it'll be in a digital way. I praise God for the resources that he has given us, and we want to take advantage of those in, in this trying time. So we're not going to block anyone from coming. If someone were to show up, we're not sending anyone home. But what we're saying is we're going to send this live stream out, the live feed out, so that we can submit to our governing authorities who are asking us, please, to help this not spread so rapidly and overwhelm the hospitals, please don't gather in groups larger than 10. So that's what we're asking you to do, Ecclesia people. We'll send out the live feed. You'll be able to worship in that way from your home. And this is especially a good time for us to remember that worship is not only what we do on the Lord's Day when we come together, but all of our lives should be saturated with worship. And although gathering together to hear preaching and sing together and take of the Lord's Supper and give, that is a special time of worship that we set aside every week. It's the most important thing we do every week. But we need to remember that all of life is worship and that we should be worshiping the Lord in specific ways through prayer and Bible study and singing songs, not just on the Lord's Day with the Lord's people, but also in our homes. And so fathers or single mothers, this is especially a time for you to step up and make sure that you are leading your family in family worship and that you're opening the Bible, you're singing together, you're praying the prayers, you're saying the Lord's Prayer together, doing your catechisms, all of those things. Let this be a reminder that we should be doing that all the time. Um, but as you tune in to the live feed, if you don't know how to access YouTube, you can do it easily from your phone. You'll get a link sent to you by your community group leader. Or you can go on any anywhere you can access YouTube, go on there and subscribe to Ecclesia Muskogee's YouTube channel so that when we go live tomorrow, that'll automatically come up. So if you have a smart TV, you can go do that very easily. If you don't know how, ask your community group leader and they will help you do that simply. You can do it on your laptop or on your desktop. That way you don't have to watch from your phone. And I want to encourage you to make sure that you know how you're going to watch the live feed tomorrow morning, and then, which is March 22nd, and then get your Bible and get your Sing the Gospel book if you have one at home, or if you don't, make sure you access it digitally. We'll send you the link for that as well. And maybe you want to print out the songs that we're going to sing tomorrow. That will be sent to you as well. You'll know what songs we're singing, what passage we're studying, and so that you can be there with your Bible, with your Sing the Gospel book, or with it on your phone, and you can sing those songs with the saints at the same time.
We know this is not ideal, but we praise God and thank God for what He's given us with technology to be able to still feast on the Word of God together, even when we can't be together in person. This saddens me. I hate this. But we need to remember that God is sovereign over it all, and that we're told to love God and love our neighbor as ourself. And we're wanting to honor God and love God, and also one of the ways we do that is by loving our neighbors who are created in His image. And our government is saying a way to love your neighbor is by not getting together in these large groups in person because we will spread the virus so rapidly if we continue to to do that. Most people in the United States can't even be tested yet, so we have no idea how far-reaching this virus is yet. And so we, as the people of God, I think need to love God and love our neighbor by taking these steps. We don't know what next Sunday is going to look like. We just know that after talking today and after looking at how rapidly this has spread in Italy, who's a little bit ahead of us, we need to actually take precautions so that we can love God and love our neighbor as ourself. But I want to read to you one passage to leave you with this thought as we approach the Lord's Day on March 22nd. I hope you'll tune in with your Bible open. But I want to leave you with this thought from the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 35. All the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing, And he does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say to him, what have you done? None can stay his hand or say to him, what have you done? Friends, we need to be reminded the Lord is sovereign over this virus. And we don't understand the reasons that it is happening or spreading like it is, but the Lord is sovereign over it and has a good plan in it for your good, for His glory, and it could quite possibly be that the plan is judgment. We don't know the reason, but we know that God is sovereign over it. So let's ask Him to heal. Let's ask Him to keep people from getting sick. And more than anything, let's ask Him for the strength for us to suffer well and glorify God in everything we do, knowing that God is not asleep on the throne. He's sovereign over it. We don't necessarily understand everything that He's doing, but we know that He's going to work everything for His glory and for our good in Christ. So I beg you to keep your eyes on Jesus. Do everything you can to be wise, love God, and love your neighbor as yourself. We'll see you on the live stream tomorrow, March 22nd. I love you.